Hey, welcome back, everybody. It is September 5th, 2017, 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. Talking about Irma, and here we go. Irma now has become a Category 5, and that's absolutely astounding that we would have that going on right now. This far out. Got a Cat 5 going. And as... The GFS models go, the closer you get to within five days, the more accurate it becomes. And unfortunately, it appears as though Irma will not get her mind off from Florida no matter what it does. The latest model is showing that it is trending again a little bit to the east, just a lot of it being offshore up all the way up the Florida coast but re-emerging back into the Gulf. And the part that you need to be aware of here is there's really warm water right in here, folks. It has all kinds of potential energy it can use. And see how it's just skirting right along the Florida coast. Fortunately for Florida, you're on the downwind side of this thing at this point. Big advantage. And then it peels off quickly into you know, the Georgia area. And then, now it's showing it running way back into the middle of the country. So really, the big news right at the moment is that it appears as though Irma has gotten a lot more angry. She's now a five. It's a little bit unusual to have a five this far out. Uh, Santa Domingo may be getting roughed up here a little bit from this thing. We're going to bring it down to uh, ground level just so we can play this thing out. So remember if you're anywhere really anywhere in the eastern United States you still need to take a lot of precaution. Be prepared. Keep an eye on this thing. Although it seems to be fixated on Florida, that doesn't mean that it couldn't change in the blink of an eye. And it most absolutely could. Hopefully it won't uh, turn for the worst. I'm not sure what would be worse at this point. It occurs to me that this is about as nasty as you can ask for. And this could be an epic storm. It really could be. A very epic storm. And as we're going up through here, now this is ground level winds. You actually get a little bit more than ground level winds. But the 750 meter seems to tick a lot of people off. I only use that to actually demonstrate the scale and the scope of this thing. Not really where people are going to be spanked by 180 mile an hour winds. I do notice that other people do use much higher scales um, for effect. That's not what it's about. It's about trying to keep everybody informed, keep everybody safe, keeping an eye on this thing. Because you can see now we're into the 8th. As it's progressing, see, it re-intensifies like right there. Notice that big intensification. Of course, you got this little buddy right here. Guess that one's been named. But here it comes. We're on the 10th, 5 a.m. It's coming up. 2 p.m. on the 10th. See how it's just skirting the very edges? Let's back this up to 2 a.m. Oh, I'll see this shit. Okay, so let's play this again. See, it's offshore. There's warm water right in here, folks. That's not going to be good. That's going to make it so it's going to want to maintain its strength. So at this point, again, it looks like Florida is right in the line of sight of this storm. Sadly, it has been consistent for about a day and a half. We are starting at 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. We're now within the 5-day model. 
and so or close to it and so it appears as though unless some radical changes happen looks like florida is definitely going to need to get ready for some action because it's going to be coming your way it looks like it's going to be coming your way somewhere right around the early part of the 10th sunday the 10th so you have till then to prepare i'm sure you most of you have your plans made provision spot at least i hope so god bless we'll be back when irma decides that it's going to change your mind one more time or two more times or ten more times just to keep you informed of what's going on keep you up to date thanks for watching and i'll be back